raise your drinks up casually. Raise your drinks, raise your drinks up, raise your drinks up casually. It's the Black Bourbon Family. Hey everyone, I'm Jason, half of the Black Bourbon Family. As you can see, Brandy isn't here with us today. She's left to go out of town again, and she said, Jason, we can't leave the people hanging. We gotta keep producing content. So I'm gonna leave it up to you and give them something that you think they would enjoy. So, you know, no pressure or anything, but I got a good video. I think you will enjoy this. So today, we are going to be talking about five single barrel bourbons that you need to hunt right now and you should be able to find them. I think that's very important, being able to find some of these things. Now, if you are following us, or if this is your first time seeing us, Brandy and I, we've been doing a single barrel tournament that we had eight single barrels that are fantastic. And if you haven't checked it out, check it out. I'll leave a link above right here for you to uh, check out the tournament. We're right now in the final four, but I'll leave it at that. You can see more details when you look at it. But today we're going to talk about five other, maybe other, may have a couple of repeats, but <laughs> five um, single barrels that you should check out and you should be able to find. So instead of me keeping talking, like Brandy would just be looking at me like, would you just come on and start talking and tell these people, I'm going to start. So the first one that I'm going to talk about is in the tournament is Russell Reserve Single Barrel. This is a wild turkey product coming in at 110 proof. And when I say it's good, this is very good good it's actually one of the favorites for our tournament this year a lot of people selected wild um russell reserve single barrel to win and it's still in the tournament coming in at a price of around 60 dollars maybe a little bit less maybe a little bit more depending on where you're located but one that i would highly highly recommend it's just very good and it's for those who are trying to move up a little bit past the lower proof bourbons and you want to get a good taste of a higher proof bourbon or yeah something that's over 100 proof this one i would highly recommend i'm gonna put this right here all right so for the next one i got coming out of the four roses distillery i got the Four Roses Single Barrel Barrel Strength. Now, as you can see, this is empty. I've been looking for these lately. I just finished this one maybe about a week or so ago, and I just had the bottle laying around. So I was like, let me um, tell you all about this one. It's very good. Now, the, the good thing about Four Roses is it comes in vi uh, different recipes. So I believe they have like 10 different recipes that the barrel strength single barrel can be uh, found in. This one specifically was OESV and it was aged 11 years and three months. And so that's another thing. You get some good age out of this one too. 11 years uh the proof varies i mean i could i've seen some as low as like 109 proof and some all the way up to like 126 proof so the proof varies and i think the older it gets the lower the proof will be but regardless of what the proof is or what the age is i've had some that's a little bit younger and some's like some like this that's 11 years old they are very good um MSRP for this one is ranges from about $75 to about $85. So a little bit more expensive than the Russells, but definitely one that I would recommend. Four Roses, single barrel, barrel strength. Okay, now moving into the Jim Beam Distillery. 
I'm sure you may have seen these on the shelves and may have not known what they were. Knob Creek Single Barrel. This right here is one of the best bang for your bucks when it comes to single barrels. Always around nine years old, maybe a little bit older, depending on what uh, single barrel it is. 120 proof every time, and the price is anywhere between 50 to 60 dollars. It may be a little bit, um, it may be around 55, but I would just say any, anywhere between 50 and 60. I mean, this one is very good. Just good, deep, rich caramels in there. Uh, you get a little of that Jim Beam peanut note that they're known for, and it's what I'm actually drinking right now. This is just the backup. Some of these are backup bottles. I got the open bottles, but I was just like, these were easier to grab, so I just grabbed these. But Knob Creek Single Barrel, highly recommended. All right, now, my next one. This is a newcomer to the single barrel game, but I think based on what they've provided so far, I think they're gonna stay in there. And before I keep going, I will just ask if you could do us a favor and give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Instagram, and consider following us on Patreon as well. All right, so as I was saying, this newcomer to the single barrel uh, game is making some headways and I think you're gonna enjoy this one. This one is Uncle Nearest Single Barrel. So Uncle Nearest, based out of Shelbyville, Tennessee, new to the bourbon scene. I would say they've been uh, producing bourbon for about five years now or so, but this single barrel that they provide is very very good this is actually our second bottle we did a review on this one and if you haven't seen that review uh, i'll put a link above so you can check that out but this is very good this one specifically is coming in at 121 proof uh, so right along the same as the uh, knob creek uh, the age is non-age stated, so you don't know exactly how old it is. But what I would say is, doesn't really matter. It's very good. Um, price is uh, $79. And you may say, well, I've never seen them in the stores. Check it out on ReserveBar.com. ReserveBar.com have these on their website, and hopefully they deliver to you. And if they do... I would highly recommend it. Uncle Nearest Single Barrel. All right, and of course, I'm gonna do a Bourbon Judge special. I got a couple asterisks for you, so stay tuned after this fifth one. I got two more for you after that. All right, so the next one is one that I would say you may see it every now and then. It's not that it's highly allocated, it's just one that they show up, I would say, once to twice a year. So they do come out annually, but you just may have to ask about it and see if someone's going to have it, if the store that you normally go to will have it. And if they do, tell them that you want to have one put to the side. This one is $17.92 foolproof single barrel. So it's a store pick, and that's why it's a single barrel. $17.92 have the single barrel that they always produce it comes with a single barrel and that was pretty good but this one the 1792 single barrel a foolproof single barrel is very very good highly recommend it has very rich notes in them uh, and it comes in at 125 proof the price range is about 50 55 dollars so in line with the Russells and the um, Knob Creek. Very, very good. And I would highly recommend the 1792 foolproof single barrel. Now for my asterisks. So these, this next one is another one similar to the 1792. You may see it in the store every now and then 
but when you do i really recommend picking it up this is the elijah craig barrel proof a uh, barrel strength this one is very very good it's barrel proof they range in ages some i've seen some about eight years old nine years old and some as old as 11 years old so range the age is a range also the proof varies but i would say typically you're going to find these anywhere between the low 120s to the maybe low 130s depending on where you see it in the barrel that was selected but either way they are very very good and price range they typically come in around 70 maybe 75 dollars a little bit more expensive than the normal elijah craig barrel proof the a b and c versions but they are very very good highly recommended from the heaven hill distillery too by the way okay and so my last one is one that i just had to put it on here because it won our weeded championship last year it's currently in our single barrel tournament this year and you may see these i would say and let me tell you what it is it's the weller antique now this one you may see once a year in a store a lot of times what i'm finding is that stores are making barrel picks when they go down to uh kentucky they visit buffalo trace typically they come back with an owa old weller antique uh pick and if you find it pick it up pick it up it's the same buffalo trace um uh, weller that you normally get except it's from a single barrel it's 107 proof non-age stated i think it's anywhere between six to eight years old price range maybe 60 dollars, 65 at most very very good highly recommended well you all i thank you for joining us today i say us brandy's with us she just can't see it that's all but no um thank you for joining me today these are seven now single barrel bourbons that i feel you would really enjoy and i hope that if you find them in the store you pick one up and let us know let us know which ones you've had which other ones would you recommend for people to pick up and we'll go from there well thanks for joining as mentioned earlier if you can give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel follow us on instagram and we will talk to you next time cheers